Steve, it's great to talk to you. Thank you for having me. Yes, uh, I was actually out with Public Works all day long surveying the areas, the five different districts and towns, and we currently have 3,667 customers without power. Those are homes and businesses. That represents 33% of the town overall. So today, Steve, what was happening while I was in the streets and the roads of North Haven, UI Make Safe crews were out there de-energizing wires, cutting down trees in co uh, collaboration with our public works was also helping that process once the uh, wires were de-energized. We had telephone poles, uh, wire lines that were falling across the streets and roads of North Haven. So today it was making the roads safe and then I'm hoping that the power restoration crews will start. And today, on a conference call with all 169 mayors and first selectmen across the state and the governor, we were told by the public utility companies that it will not be until tomorrow when we will be told across the state when the power restoration will begin and what that plan is. Yes. Yes, after surveying the streets and roads yesterday, Steve, and today, I had concluded that the safest thing for the children of North Haven would be to postpone Halloween for a week. And that'll be on November 7th on Wednesday evening. Schools, I talked and spoke with Dr. Cronin today, gave him an update, the assessment of the roads, and uh, the school system has decided, the Board of Education, to close schools for tomorrow also because of the debris that's still out there, some lines that are down, and some branches that are still strewn across the roadways. Well, the UI has a 1-800 number to call. Um, we here at Town Hall have UI people with us uh, in terms of our emergency operating center. The UI personnel are acting as liaisons between us and the residents. So I think two things need to apply. We as the town will continue to work with the UI in an effort to make the streets and roads safe and have the UI tell us when the power restoration will begin. The residents can also help us by calling the 1-800 number that UI offers to register their own homes if they're without power. I think we need to do this from both my end as the chief elected official here in town and also on the residential end. Well, the UI is asking us to tell the residents to call the UI directly, but Stephen, we are compiling a lot of the information here also, so if the residents cannot get an answer when they call the UI, they can call my office, my staff. My staff all day long has been giving the residents updates. I've also been doing emergency broadcast announcements on our reverse 911 system here and trying to keep the residents posted as to what's happening in the town of North Haven. Well, I can say to our residents in North Haven who don't have power, the 3,000, almost 700, that I know what they're going through because I don't have power myself. And I know all too well how difficult it is not having power as my whole section of town is out. And also for those seniors, I want them to know that I share what they're going through because I have a senior citizen mother who lives in West Haven who's without power also. So I understand the frustration out there and we will do everything we can working with the UI to solve these problems. Well, I think that's uh, something we're certainly discussing with the UI, Steve. Um, a lot of it, though, if we look at it, what the UI is going through is the tremendous damage assessment profile that needs to be done and that's what they were doing these last couple of days and that's why we were told today that the
plan of power restoration cannot be given to any of us until tomorrow. Thank you very much, Stephen. So there we have it. What we have here in town, in, in the town of North Haven, uh, also throughout the state of Connecticut with all the mayors and first selectmen, we're in a damage assessment mode that the UI is conducting right now. So for us, uh, we've been out, people like myself, in public works. We've surveyed the damage. Uh, we've had many, many problems here in North Haven. Trees, telephone poles snapped, as I just said to um, WQUN in Hamden and that radio station that tomorrow we hope to hear from the UI in terms of what the power restoration plan will be. As I said in the interview, the governor, all the mayors have been told that that plan cannot be articulated or given until tomorrow morning. So for those residents in North Haven, I do understand what you're going through. As I mentioned in this radio interview, I'm going through it myself. I have great concerns for the seniors, my senior citizen mother in West Haven. And rest assured that if you do not get answers from the UI in dialing the 1-800 number, that you can call my office and we will give you the latest updates because we have the UI staff here and we are looking to solve these problems, ladies and gentlemen, and that's our focus here in North Haven.